Taylor Jacobs was one of the best receivers to ever play at the University of Florida. It seemed Taylor Jacobs had the potential to accomplish great things in the NFL, especially with the big numbers he put up his senior year at the University of Florida. Things didn't go as planned and he ended up becoming one of the worst draft picks in Washington Redskins history. Where did it go wrong for Taylor Jacobs? This is a story on what happened to Taylor Jacobs. Taylor Jacobs grew up in Tallahassee, Florida, and in high school, Jacobs was a star athlete and he played multiple sports, which included track and football. He became one of the top wide receivers in the state, and instead of wanting to stay in his hometown and play for Florida State, Jacobs decided to play for their rival, the University of Florida. Jacobs didn't really put up great numbers in his first two seasons at the University of Florida as he was still adapting to the college game as a wide receiver. It was make or break for Taylor Jacobs his junior year. Jacobs and starting quarterback Rex Grossman eventually found their chemistry. Jacobs stepped up big his junior year and he finished the season with 712 receiving yards and 7 touchdowns. At the end of the season, he ended up winning the MVP of the Orange Bowl. Things were looking promising for Jacobs coming into his senior year. He came back strong in his last season with the Gators, finishing the year with 1,088 receiving yards and caught eight touchdowns. At the end of his college career at the University of Florida, he was ranked eighth all time in career receptions and ninth in career receiving yards. He was drafted in the second round in the 2003 NFL Draft with the 44th pick by the Washington Redskins. In this draft, the Redskins only had three total picks, and Steve Spurrier felt that since he coached Jacobs in college, that this would automatically translate to success in the NFL, and he could become a star like he was at the University of Florida. The coaching staff was expecting Taylor Jacobs to be a good complement to Lavernius Coles and Rod Gardner and be the number three receiver on the team. The Redskins chose Jacobs over Anquan Bolden in the 2003 NFL Draft. We clearly know who is the better receiver and about Bolden's accolades throughout his career as he's potentially going to be a future Hall of Famer. Jacobs struggled his rookie season as he dealt with several injuries and only played in eight games. In his next two seasons in Washington, he never had more than 200 receiving yards in either of those two seasons. The team knew they made a big mistake drafting Taylor Jacobs in the second round and cut their losses and traded him to the 49ers on August 14th, 2006, just after three seasons. After being released by the 49ers in October 2007, he was signed to the Denver Broncos the following month and played for them for the remainder of the 2007 season. He primarily played special teams for the Broncos and that was his last season in the NFL. Taylor Jacobs somehow managed to last five seasons in the NFL. After playing in 50 games in the NFL, he only had 384 total receiving yards and two total touchdowns in his entire career. Since he's been out of the NFL, Jacobs opened up and has been focused on his own personal training business. Clearly a big disappointment for the Washington Redskins. Let me know in the comment section on what you think was the reason why Taylor Jacobs struggled in the NFL and if he should have ever been a second round pick.